Hello, this is Jen with Glasses, and I am streaming King's Quest 2. Okay, here's where we're at. We're still at the church. Um, sorry I'm a little late tonight, guys. I had a couple of different things happen, one of which was uh, my computer stopped recognizing my microphone, <laughs> and somehow I erased my stream key, so I had to figure that all out before I could come on. All right, so here is where we are at. Ah, we have our sword. We used our net for the ugly duckling. We used our mallet for the skull. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need to either use the earrings or the brooch to make a potion to um, prevent the magician enchanter, I think it is, from turning us into different animals. Here is the fence post I used to get the library card. Here is a yellow flower, which I think is acceptable to melt down with one of these blue stones to make into a potion. Here's a candle which I'm 99% sure I need to light to be able to light the fire to be able to put in there. Although, actually, come to think of it, um, I didn't try just throwing them in. Maybe you can just light it without. Maybe I don't need the fire. Maybe it'll just light on its own. I didn't even think of that until just now, so let's check that out. Um, my library card. My magical necklace I got from a mermaid that I use to hypnotize snakes, which is... Uh, King's Quest PSA about how to deal with snakes. You hypnotize them. That is the way they think you should deal with snakes because that's that's the usual way. <laughs> uh, a needle I have not used. Uh, this thing, which I really don't know what it is. It's an odd circular device. It has several symbols around it. The sun, a mountain range, a drop of water, and a cloud. I have no idea what that's for yet. Um, I got one of the gems. I need two more. This is the birth stone, and then there's the life stone and the death stone. I think it's also called the water stone, so it's very confusing. This is a very gross handkerchief that the guy in the haystack used to blow his nose, and I also used to cover the nightingale, which sadly met its demise um, at the hands of the lady who's in charge of the antique store in town. And she sadly met her demise because Hagatha or Hagatha uh, thought she stole the nightingale, and so she killed her. This is... what is this? Oh, this is some sort of clue that I think... I, that actually I think someone gave me a hint about. I think that was uh, Mr. Hot Cheetos. He... about where the basement was. Magic carpet, youth serum that was sadly once the nightingale, white feather I need for the potion, along with the flower. Um, that is it. So, I was obsessed with finding something to light the potion with last time. So, now I'm thinking I couldn't find any kind of torches anywhere. I was hoping to find something with which to light it, but I couldn't find anything. So, I'm beginning to think that maybe, possibly, I should just try to do the potion and see if the Bunsen burner lights on its own. Which is not something I considered because I was so excited about the the light. And also there was a weird poem up there about six stones, which I have not seen anything out down here and might be a reference to where the snake is up on the mountain. So we're going to go up on the mountain and figure this out, hopefully. Which sounds good to me. Alright. Okay. Let me just check this real quick. Yep. Okay. Everything looks good. Okay. So let's get out our rug and see what we can do here. Rug! Magic rug! Is there enough room here? There is! The carpet begins to rise. That just looks so rickety. <laughs> As my mom says, it looks so jakey. Which I don't even know what it really means other than, uh, you know, not cool. Alright. I'll save it right before we go into the necromancer's lair. It's not a necromancer because I guess it's... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, is the poem referring to this? Oh, let me see if I can pick something over here. Don't fall off the edge. Don't fall off the edge. Yeah, I want... Okay. There's nothing I can pick. What about this one? What about this one? Well, the necromancer said I do. 
Well, the enchanter. Not, I don't know if he talks to the dead or not. I guess it's a necromancer. The enchanter. The guy who turns you into a cat. It's a weird... Uh, no. Alright. Let's hypnotize the snake. Here we go. Because it lies. You dangle the shimmering opal in front of the snake. It soon falls hypnotized in typical snake fashion. This is where it kills me. It's like, you can't, it doesn't just hypnotize. It's like, it's typical. It's very, very typical. Take our word for it. This is how you deal with snakes. You call animal control. They have their magical necklace. I can't, I don't know. I feel like that's an advertisement in there. It says I do need plants. Or I'm going to save it out here. Just in case. Just in case. Death around every corner. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to deal with the swamp tonight. And I kind of don't want to. I think it'll be fine. But it's one of those mazes where I'm like, I can't. Okay. Do I have to look at everything? Or does it recognize I already looked at things? Read the inscription. In row of stones, number six half and a pair from left do pick quell then my spells avoid the tricks avoid the tricks I don't know what that is all right let's go over here uh is this hands or eyes am I looking at this with my hands or my eyes uh, oh good gravy Okay, it's hands. I'm reading with my hands again. I forgot. Makes me think that maybe Graham is legally blind. Okay, heed now these words. Alright, so... How did we do this last time? I need to see this. Ah. Urgh. By the way, if you hear like a thumping noise in the background, that's not my house being robbed. That's just my ice maker. It makes this terrifying sound that sounds like someone's going to break in, but it's just doing ice. Okay, here we go. Thank goodness. You approach the workbench for a closer look. Of course I do. Alright. Maybe I can just start putting stuff in here and see what happens. Alright, I'm going to put this in. You toss the brooch into the beaker. Nice! Alright. Uh, yellow flower. You toss the sickly yellow... Why is a sickly yellow flower into the beaker? Um, where's my feather? Put my feather in there. It's not time for that yet. Oh crud! What's it saying here again? Okay. All right. Um, only power of the Elmor can probably dispel enchantment, and thus the steps to create one are follows. Firstly, heat a blue mineral and yellow vegetable together until they congulate into a greenish liquid. Stir the mixture with a white feather. This is to be greenish. Drop into this a perfectly clear crystal. Oh no! I need a perfectly clear crystal. Dang, I don't have a perfectly clear crystal. Wait, oh, is this a perfectly clear crystal? Let's see. Um, can I take... I wonder if I can take the opal off. What's it say about the opal? A shiny opal. It's not clear though. What's the perfectly clear? Now I feel dumb because I didn't see that the last time. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I'm probably definitely gonna have to go to the um, swamp, and I really don't want to. Perfectly clear crystal. Can I? Oh, let me get my hand out. Let me just see if I can light this up. Okay, that's why I was really 100% sure. Someone might notice if you move. Who cares if someone notices if you move them? Alright, so I am missing two things. I'm missing the perfectly clear crystal. Which, I don't know where that is at all. Um, maybe it's in those Amazon boxes at the dock. Um, and I still need fire. Can't use this to start a fry, can I? Nothing happens. Of course nothing happens. Alright. So to save some time, I'm just gonna... Oh, I already saved it up here, didn't I? Well, here, we'll do it here. Just get on my magic carpet again. 
Blah. Oh, there's not enough room. As opposed to, you're on the top of a mountain. I'm pretty sure there's... Oh, no, that's not good. Thank you, snake. Alright. Let's try it here, then. Uh, try. Thank you for being more specific. Try rock, walking in front of the rocks. Well, it just seems like this is very close to the edge, and Graham isn't good at edges. You unroll the magic carpet, lay it on the ground, and sit on it. The carpet rises into the air again. Oh, it just looks so... <laughs> like, ah, 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 ah. If it was a motor and had a sound, it'd be like... Rawr, rawr, rawr. Not very confident. It's like one of those bikes that has a motor on it, but it's not really a motorcycle. It just doesn't doesn't sound like it has enough power to, to take you on the highway. All right, save it again down here because I don't want to mess around. So I need a perfectly clear crystal. Uh, well, let's check. I want to check the beach again anyway. I'm gonna go straight down here. Have I gone straight down here before? Oh yes, here's the terrifying dip. Do 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 do. Perfectly clear. That just doesn't. Oh gosh, I don't know. It's a. I see something suspicious. This tree is still suspicious, but I don't think. There's no reason. Goodness! They're very protective of that tree. There's no reason for you to manipulate that small tree in any way. Stay away from it. Okay, guys. Let me get my walking feet on. My walking feet! I really feel like Graham has a bad back from the way he walks. He just walks very stiffly. And I am critical of him, but that's only because we're in this together. And I know I don't have certain skills, and I was hoping he would have... <laughs> I know I'm not a good fighter. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it just did that again. I got so excited, but it was just the same thing. Just check to see. Anybody home? Uh, no. There's a grandma in there. It's probably the wolf has eaten her. And he's so fat from eating her that he can't breathe. That's why he's there's labored breathing. Seems very unfair. Okay. Hmm. Well, perfectly cr clear crystal makes me think of sea glass. But I don't really see anything down here. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Sea glass! Sea glass! Bum bum. Hi, Dia6101. They say tonight Grandma should love visitors. Yeah, that's what I think. Isn't she a lonely old woman? What is that there? Oh, don't do the get the feeling for an area. The sand from the beach glitters. Can I can I pick up wouldn't the sand be be a, considered a clear crystal? Oh boy. Alright. I'm trying to work up my nerve DS because I think I might have to go to the swamp first. I might have to deal with the swamp maze. One, two, three, four. I know if I fall in there, I definitely die. Oi! There's nothing up there, is there? Alright, what's here? Yeah, but is there anything cool about those flowers or their sparkling clear, clear crystal over here? There's nothing to do with it, actually. All right, let's go this way. La 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 da 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 da. Dia six asked, "Did you already finish the Sky Wizard Hovely place?" No, because I got up there, and I um. I thought about it, and I'm like, did I actually need something to set the um, Bunsen burner on fire, or could I just do it? Would it just light? And then when I got up there, I 
realized two things. One is that, yeah, I still have to find a fire to light the Bunsen burner with. And two, it also, I'm supposed to have a completely see-through crystal, which these are both blue, I believe. This is blue. Oh, diamonds? Well, maybe I already have it. Well, anyway, I realized I didn't have everything that I needed. Oh, boy. If you were to wear them, you would never notice. Oh, man. I mean, now let me try and... Let me see if I can pick these diamonds out of here. Pinning that won't achieve anything. Oh, can I pin things with this? Is this what I'm supposed to use it for, is pinning things? Okay, well, I thought I could maybe pry out the diamonds. So, no, I didn't finish the Sky Wizard Hovely place. I need a... Maybe I can use the diamonds on that. But I need a clear crystal. And, which... Oh, man, that's cool. Maybe I can just throw both of those in. And, but I still need fire. That is a big problem, is I don't have anything to make fire with. So that's the other issue I'm having, is I have to figure out where to get fire. And I'm worried... I'll be getting fire um, in the swamp. <laughs> like, I don't know where else, no one else has any anything lit that I can light that to. So I'm trying to see if I missed anything like, I don't know, a flaming torch in the woods somewhere. Plus to just see if I missed anything because I have a tendency to kind of get excited and gloss over things. One, two, oh boy. Let's go this way. All puzzles need more fire. That's true, DS. All puzzles need more fire. More fire and, well, not more death, because I die a lot as it is. There's nothing. Man. Now I feel like I should have lit the candle. I couldn't have gotten close enough to hag at this fire, though. I'm really sure I couldn't have gotten close enough to actually... What is over here? You know, King's Quest is always telling me stuff like I shouldn't pick flowers, but 90% of the time, like, it's something very similar to that that I need to do. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 thank you. So I've got to have some way to light the Bunsen burner. And that's, that's what I need now. Ah, there's got to be some place. So there's like one little thing. Like, I don't know if it's in Grandma's house. It's just if I need to do something before I can get there. Maybe I can wake up the stone guy. So I was kind of hoping that these guys would have, one of them would have a lit candle that I could light. But they don't. They don't, they don't want to talk to me anymore. They're mad. Well, no, they're not mad. They're just done with me. I ran all her errands for her, and now she's like, go away. Okay, let's check the town again. Even though I don't think there's anything there for me. I mean, we got this big town, but we have. Is there anything over here, too? And there's that other, like, mystery in that something about six rocks and half a dozen again. And I'm like, oh, boy. I don't know if that's an alternate way to get what you need. Is anybody still in here? I don't know why there's someone living in there, though, that's still... That feels like a sad story. Man. They need a general store where I can just buy some flint. But again, you can't buy anything. Even when I traded with that merchant, I didn't really trade. I kind of just cheated him. Like, I made him believe that the fool's gold was real gold. And then, uh... To get from him. All right, let's. I'm just gonna go in here. I know there's not any fire, but maybe she'll have another book for me now. Let's see what she says. I have nothing else to say at the moment. Okay. I guess they wouldn't have any fire in here. Where is the fire then? If there's no fire, I wish I could walk down the street. To, I'm sure there's a general store. There's a good chance you won't find... Oh, Fool's Gold? Oh, sorry, DS6. Uh, early on in the game, I don't know if you... You must not have been here. I, uh... 
cut down the, the dwarf's trap and he baited it with gold, what looked like gold. When you picked it up, it, um, after a second, it turned into just worthless metal. So I figured out that merchant who had the baby pumpkin, um, a way to trick him. I threw the fool's gold into the fountain. And then when he ran over to go get it, I stole the pumpkin baby back. So that's what the fool's gold, fool's gold was. It was that trap. The dwarf set a trap, which was actually pretty gruesome because when he caught you, he just flat out threw knives at you and killed you. No, 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 no. Oh. Did he get something from me? He probably did. Oh. Play, I don't want to save it. Yeah, so that's where I used the fool's gold at. I used it to trick the merchant, and he stole things from me. I'm just going to restore since I haven't done anything since then. It's so sad. I have, yeah, I still have this in here. <laughs> I just got off my carpet. So that's when I used for that. That's how I got the merchant to give me. Oh, DS6 says, oh, I thought he traded the plain old-fashioned one. You know, you'd think he would. Like, I had um, e the earrings and I had the brooch. No, I didn't have the brooch, but I had the earrings and they have diamonds in them. And he wouldn't trade me. He's like, I don't want that junk. And I'm like, you don't want... Okay, sorry. But then he'd dig in the fountain for that... You know, for a couple of coins of gold that weren't even real. Who knows? Alright, I think I'm going to have to go. Because I'm not seeing... There's no place to light my candle. And I need fire to light the Bunsen burner. So that's where I'm at. I mean, I can't go back in the cave because my... So I can't even get some from Hagatha. Hagatha. I really want to know what this thing is. I wonder if I could... I'm going to try and use it on myself. Let's see what happens. Can you use it? Okay. Let's see what happens if I... The odd circular vi device intrigue you is it depicts several different symbols around the outer rim. A sun, a mountain range, a drop of water, and a cloud. I wish I could... Uh, you know, I wish I could just touch the sun symbol to the candle and light it. Nothing happens. Nope. Yeah, the traitor was pretty unscrupulous. Well, yeah, he didn't have any scruples. Uh, I feel like that looks like sea glass. And that's what I want. If there's something there, it'd be sparkling. King's Quest isn't entirely cruel. Oh, boy. Oh, Alright, I'll go up this way. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't want to get stuck. I don't want this to be a condor situation all over again. I mean, that wasn't bad, but it was one of those things where it's like, man. What? And this is bothering me, too. What is this? Just there's something. It's really, really distinctive. Beneath the mound are some smaller stones. What? Oh. Every stone. Yeah, this doesn't do this normally. Okay. Will not budge. What about the first one? Let's see if it let me lift some stones. Because this sounds like the riddle. You push the bush. Why would I push the bush? Now I need to look at this bush more closely because why would I push it? That seems like a weird thing. <laughs> DS611 says, yay, more what moments? Yeah, that's my thing. I just yell out what. Okay, let me see. I don't like the plants just where they are. Why would I push the bush? I know, but there's something not quite right. Like, why would it let me... It's weird that it would let me bend down for each of the stones. And then I had that weird... How many stones are here? They're here. There's six stones. That looks almost like a face. Alright. There are six stones at the bottom. Now if I can only remember what it said. Try to lift this stone. Oh, can I? I wonder if I can pry it. There's no need to use that here. 
Alright, there's gotta be something. Why? It wouldn't let me bend down and pick these up for no reason. It just seems like such a weird. The tree is unclimbable. What about these? I don't wanna lift it, I wanna see what's going on. Man! Now I gotta go back and re I didn't write down that poem. I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> I wanted to, I'm like, I know what to do with the potion stuff. I don't want to deal with this other stuff. All right, I'll, I, I make a note of this because this is, this is suspicious. Why did it do it that way? It's just weird because they don't waste, I mean, they don't waste games. Ah, oh, you, ah, oh, run, 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 run. All right, I made it. Gosh, that guy. All right, so that's definitely something. I just don't know what. That's definitely something. Because they don't waste the game space on things that don't matter, which is why they constantly tell you, like, you don't need to pick those flowers. You don't need to move that rock. Ooh. I'm tiny. There we go. So they constantly tell you that stuff. So the fact it let me try to pick up all six of those rocks, it's got to be the, the puzzle. But I don't... <sighs> I need to have a lit candle, though. All right, I'm going to save it here. All right, I'm going to try... I looked at the footage a little bit, and I still can't figure out where I'm supposed to go in the swamp. So I'm going to prop up my keyboard for a second. So I still got to figure that out. Like what, how to get where I'm supposed to go. Hopefully it's like the sea area is where it's only, I only need to be there once. Like go do my thing and then leave. That would be nice. But there's all this stuff. Like I want to save the grandma. I want to figure out what's up with the weird church. You got all kinds of hints about that going on, that there's stuff going on there. Can I find a pen? I should be prepared, but I was all thrown off. I guess I can use a pencil. By my my system being weird and not recognizing my mic. Alright, let's go in. Let's go into the stinky swamp. Those are not bees, those are flies, even though they sound just like bees. Oh, it's usually the ominous music. Super like mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna go down. Well I'm gonna try to go down. Come on, Graham. He doesn't want to go in the swamp either. There we go. Alright, so I went down last time, I don't think that was effective. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna try and go right and see what happens. And if anything cool happens, I'm gonna circle it and remember that that's a good way to go. Alright, so... Something cool over here about this. A rotting log. And they, okay, well, can I move it? Oh, this is the one that said it's gonna fall apart if you touch it, Graham. Don't touch it. And I'm like, okay. Oh, that just did the same thing again. What happens if I do it again? Did it just take me back further? Okay, this is the part that I'm like... Alright, this looks promising. What's this over here? Boy, their natural forms have been horrifically perverted by the dark influence that saturates this dismal mire. Okay, King's Quest, get your manic munch. Alright. This looks... I'm gonna... I don't know, this looks cool. I'm gonna save it here and see what I can do from here. 30. 30 saves, guys. I'm definitely getting crazy here. Alright, here we go. That's where I came from! That's not where I was a second ago. 
All right, I'm gonna restore back there and see what I can do. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely not the same thing. All right, so I went, I go back. All right, I'm gonna go over. I don't remember what I did. I probably did the same thing. Okay, this doesn't, this looks the same. Oh, I don't know, guys. This is why I'm not good at mazes. Like, uh, no, that is the same thing. All right, I'm going to restore. I'm going to say, look, I'm not going that way. All right, I'm going to go down. Oh, that's the same thing. I don't like this maze. That looks different this time. It's the same. All right, this is why I need to figure out how to be systematic, but I feel like this is different. Okay, let's try and no, it's not. It's just like sometimes the paths are there and sometimes they're not. Okay, I'm gonna save it here because this is different than it. Don't move too far down because this is different than anything else I've seen before. So we'll save it. Oh, if I could just get through. The stinking. Okay, this looks the same as what I went through before. Yeah, it's just more variations on the same. Okay, I'm gonna restore back to that point and just see. I don't know, it's just. Okay, so here I am. It looks like the only way. Because I went that way. And it was the same. What's up with this water? Is this the same water? Okay, well then. What happens if I go back up this way? It takes me back to the beginning of the game. Oh, everything's changing! I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. So this is actually a dead end. Because when I go this way... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to my earlier restore. I don't like this. Why did I save it here? This doesn't look like any different than... Oh boy. Just keep going down until you have less options. Yeah, this just looks... Oh boy. Graham's even more lost than I am. Okay, so this gives you very few options. It's gonna kick you back up here. It's gonna let you go up here. Nope. What about up here? Okay. Let's see if I can go back. Now I have no idea where I am. This is supposed to be systematic, guys. I'm supposed to be systematic about this. I was not. I need like a little like, I don't know, pixie or elf to appear and say like, here's how you go. Follow me. I'll be like, yes, thank you. These are vines. Can I do anything with these vines? Oh, he just walked through on his own. Thank you for making a command decision, Graham. I really? Yeah, and this is the back at the beginning. If I go this way. Alright. Oh boy. Well, that wasn't helpful. Alright, I gotta find a better way of writing this down. Because I need to figure out. I don't know what it's telling me. Like, it's the same thing with less paths. Should it only be something new and then I know I'm going the right way? All right, we're going to try this again, only because I don't know where any fire is at all. And I can't get to the, um, the grandma. Apparently, Graham... Apparently, Graham has the thing about, uh, breaking and entering. DS6106, I respect your play style, exploring, poking, examining, speaking in the face of stuckness. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so here I am. This is where I'm at. Yeah, I don't know how else to play it. Like, I, well, I guess I could go look at a walkthrough, but then it's not fun. And then next time, you know, I don't know, I don't know what I did. 
Alright, so I'm gonna go this way. Let's see. Is that the same? Alright, I don't think right is anything. So first I went right. Ah! Okay, well that's slightly different. We'll see what that leads to. That's left. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to play. Like, if you look through a walkthrough, not that you never should get help, because I can't say I, I wouldn't ever, ever get help, but, um, when you go through a walkthrough, like, 90% of the fun is figuring out what the dang game wants you to do. Like, what's the puzzle? Okay, I like this. So, I like this. I went down. Alright, where do I go from there? So, down and go right. Okay, this is new. So I went right. Go up. Okay, then I went up. Yeah, I don't know what this means now. Should I go right again? Should I go... Oh boy. This isn't new for... This is new for this walk, though. No, nope, that's the same. And it's changed behind me! Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ah, oh, that water is yucky too. I don't know if I should ignore what the forest is doing and just go... Like, keep going in the same direction, just kind of map it out. But the forest is changing all the time. So I can't tell. Okay. No, that's the same thing. That's the same. Let's go down. How would I tell when I've gone full in a circle, though? Yep, there's that. That thing. Oh, boy. wonder if this... Let me just... Let's see. Okay, stop, Graham. He's like, I'm gonna walk all over the place. It just, I don't need you anymore. Yeah, can I? The gold disc cannot be used here. Where can it be used? Graham, if you know something, you're not telling me. Pinning it won't achieve anything. I could make a rudimentary. <laughs> if I had some water and I had like a cork, I could make a rudimentary compass. <laughs> <laughs> Which way's north, Graham? Which way's north? Yeah, I don't know. Oh man, I'm just going. Yeah, I don't know if I should. Whoa, it just kicked me out. It kicked me out of its swamp. It said, no more for you. All right said goodbye don't come back again hmm all right I'm gonna go no I still don't have fire though I guess I could go up and read that poem that might be about that area with the tree but I feel like all right I'm gonna go back in I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore what the force is telling me and I'm just gonna thoroughly map it out so I'm just gonna go right 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 until how will I tell? Because when Daventry was like a ball, snobby swamp, yeah, D6, is, it just kicked me out. It's, just, it's not good enough for you them. Um, in Daventry, in the last game, King's Case, when I had a hard time, the whole kingdom was just basically set up like a ball. So I just had to map it out. Like I had to walk in a straight line until I came back where I started. But this thing repeats. So I can't tell if it's repeating because it's sending me back to like a previous thing or if it's repeating because um it's just i have to ignore it because it's just a an enchanted swamp so i don't know i'm gonna go back in i'm gonna see if i can see what i can do i went i'm gonna go because this piece of geography doesn't change okay get down there Graham's like i don't want to go back in he's like don't make me go back in there Alright, let's go down. I'm gonna go down this time and we'll see what happens. 
Okay, I've seen this before. I know that. I'm not completely landscape blind, but... And I've seen this before. So let's go down. This is like, it just starts limiting your choices until you're stuck. I like those stairs over there. I feel like, oh, Graham, I didn't want to go down. That's just the river, but it looks like stairs. So either I have to find something immune, makes me immune to the water, so that I can walk in that one area. Just keeps, limits my options until it kicks me out. I was just, what is that thing? Now that looks like a skull. Stop right there, Graham. What is that thing? You are standing in an unknown location somewhere in a wide expanse of marshland. Mist surrounds you in all directions as far as the idea. You feel strangely disoriented. Yeah, but what's that thing, Graham? It looks like a skull. Yeah, I know, but... Ugh. Can I talk to it? Let's see if I can talk to it. Really? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. This looks like a skull, though. This really just looks like a skull. Alright, so... Left at the skull. <laughs> Alright. Can I go straight here? Because I'll just go straight. I want to kick me around for a little while. If you guys don't mind hanging in there with me, I'm gonna... Just poke around. At least he's got his sort of fishing boots on. I mean, they're probably fashion boots, but they're at least cover his shins. Okay, there's the skull again, so that wasn't the right way. Go down. Okay, this looks different, which is good. I mean, I've seen it before, but I haven't seen it before yet. Okay, I'm gonna go down this time. Let's see what happens. Okay, I just went down. Let's try going right. What happens if I go right? It's just basically forced me to go up. This is going to take me out. No, it didn't. Interesting. All right. So let's try this way. Try this way. Okay, so that didn't work. Man. Okay, I'm going to go up. Let's see if I can go up here. Up! All right. I can take a hint. <laughs> it's the swamp's party and I'm not invited. What's this over here? A few plants. The ones close to swamp do not seem as healthy. Sure they're not. They look like rocks. Can I pick them up? They feel like rocks. Alright. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so this is what it normally says when you try and touch rocks, it just says they feel like rocks or that's too heavy to lift or, but it was interesting. It let me try to lift those up. So I'm going to, I'm sure there's nothing I'm supposed to do with my inventory. Okay. Well, okay. Well, let's try this. Let's see if I can mm, see if the necklace does anything. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, that's just strange. Oh, can, ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I put this in here? Nothing happens. Nothing happens. That would be cool. It looks like a cool place setting for it. Nothing happens. But there's four. Anyway. Okay. So, Swamp's kicking me out because I'm doing something wrong or it could even be that I'm doing something right but I doubt that all right I could fly back up I'm gonna fly back up and read that poem again where's my carpet I really hope this thing is enough gas to keep why can't I use the carpet here okay I can't use the carpet here what about here oh I have to have enough room for the guys this is back in the day you have to have enough room for the animation to work for the little this looks funky too like there's that weird funky this is 
weird thing. It looks like a almost like a cutout of something. I know, but it looks like something. Game? Stop making interesting background. The background's not supposed to interest me. Is there anything interesting about that rock? The background's not supposed to interest me until it's not interesting enough to touch. Okay, I got your hint, game. It's not interesting enough to touch. Okay, alright. Hmm, I need someone, I need someone, I just need to find a chain smoker. I just need to find someone who likes to go camping a lot. Oh, I'm supposed to get on my magic carpet, but I didn't. Man. There's no way I can go around the house or anything, is there? There's no, like, back of the house. Well, I guess there kind of is, but not really. It's not like the witch's cottage. Well, no, you didn't see the back of her house either. Ah. Uh, maybe before if I knocked it, his talk said hello. Oh, Graham, you're always rude. <laughs> you look through people's stuff. <laughs> DS6101 says, Magic rug must always be take center stage. It's in its contract. I feel like it's in someone's contract. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Oh boy, this thing is like not. This is an old rug. <laughs> you feel like it's run by like a lawnmower motor or something. Alright. I'm gonna go back and read this stinking poem again. I'm going to take care of the snake in the usual way, which means hypnotize him. Just, you know. King's Quest PSA about how to deal with snakes. You hypnotize them. I have a couple other things in my bag that would be more efficient dealing with snakes, such as a net and a stick. But, um, no. We have to deal with it in the usual way. Alright, I'm gonna go over here. I really need to deal with this dude, too. Get out of there, Graham. Oh, boy. I'm gonna save it just in case something crazy happens. I don't want to have to worry about anything. Yes, okay. Let me read this poem again. I'll even write it down. Go in, Graham! Alright, let's go over here. I'm gonna read it with my hand. <laughs> See, I should, I feel like I should be able to light it off these, but. Oh, maybe I. I don't know. That's something I don't listen to. You cannot remove the engraving. Oh, this, now it's seeing with my eyes. You read the inscription. In row of stones that number six. Six. Half and a pair from left to pick. Half and a pair. Quell then my spell. Avoid the tricks. Okay. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. Okay, let's get out of here. Can I, like, smash one of these? I really just want to... Okay, oh, maybe I can light the candle off of them. Candle in the wind. Why can't I? Oh, maybe I can light to this. Let's see. Why can't I? Alright, let's see. Oh, no. Well, I spent too much time in here. Oh boy. Uh oh. A pig this time? Oink oink. Hmm. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna 
to do that when they go in my inventory. Gotta rub two sticks together to make a fire. Nope. Okay. I feel like I should be able to light it. Those lamps are up there. Why do I care if the enchanter knows I've been here? Right, look at this. Looks magical in nature. But it is. For fear of consequences you may bring on yourself. I'm not trying to turn out the furniture. I'm trying to figure out... What's this over here, though? I didn't want to... Okay. Oh, all right. What is it this time? We've been a kitten. We've been a frog. We've been a pig. What's he thinking of this time? It's another pig. Oh, okay. So if I touch too many too much stuff. Alright, I'm just gonna um, go back down. I'm going to go back down and I'm going to see if I can do something with that rock in front of the tree. Boy, that <laughs> Surprise he doesn't land with a thump because that thing looks like it's <laughs> It's not very, it's not very good. All right. I'm gonna go back to the tree and just see. Do, 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 do. Oh, is this guy home yet? This guy needs to be home. Ah, oh, boy. What is this thing up here? Which you can't. What do you mean there's no footholds? Look at this. Look at this. What is this weird rock thing up there? It looks like a little mushroom with a hat on. Uh, okay. Well, that was a bust. When's it? Whoever. I need another, like, elf to help me. <laughs> what is the deal with this stuff here? Anything in here? A once grand tree see nothing of interest what about in this oh what about this one that's the different log <laughs> dummy <laughs> no I mean this one over here no it's <laughs> oh it's like he's bending over for someone to kick him oh boy all right I'm gonna go down this way is it this way this way Mm -hmm. It still looks like something. If it's not anything, they shouldn't have made it so interesting. Alright, Graham. Let's figure this out. Where are you going? Oh, I somehow... Alright, I went out the wrong way. It's around here somewhere. Yeah, what is in here? Oh, I already found something in there. I'm not gonna lift it. I just wanna see if there's anything. I guess it's just a stump. It's not hollow like the rest of it. More lemons. Won't you let me grab a lemon, guys? I think they're refreshing. Alright, now I, why can't I find this tree? Hmm. Oh, well, there you go. All right, so the poem is... What? No, I've not run into the evil enchanter. Golly. He's just up in my business all the time. This looks cool, too. Is there anything about this that would be cool? No, I just want to... I want to start a fire. That was a good idea, though. The game's patronizing me. And I think I've already done the before game. 
All right. Uh, you get in touch with nature. So the poem is in row of stones at number six, half and a pair from left do pick. So that would be five, right? Half of six is three plus a pair, which is two, is five. So it would be one, two, three, four, five. That would be the one to pick. But it will not budge. All right, so do not be fooled by the trick. Do not get the trick, which makes me feel like, ah, uh, because there was that area that had the dwarfs, the dwarfs trap, and I don't know that that had a trick. What will be the trick here? You push the bush. Why am I pushing a bush? This isn't the same bush. What am I... Like, the game knows I'm looking for something. Arg! Why would I push it? No, I don't like the plants. And this would be very easy. I'm not trying to lift the pile of rocks. This would be fifth if I was going from the right. Okay, there's gotta be... Dang! appearing here a lot an awful lot get back up there Graham don't be a coward um okay but there's also the area which I haven't seen in a while where the dwarf this looks like a total face like there's the nose there's the eyes this looks like a face What about the nose? Can I tweak the nose? Pick the nose. Poke the eye. Yeah, it just looks like a face so much. Oh! Let me out! Alright, so... That's really the only... I mean, that's the right number. It won't let me pick in the plants either, which is something else I was thinking. I'm like, maybe it'll let me pick the plants. Can I talk to you, lady? Oh, boy. You push the bush. Well, I guess that is the thing. It says you push the bush. I just didn't realize it because I hadn't been pushing any bushes. Oh, boy. All right, let me see if I can find the area that has... Where's the area with... No, it's not here. I think it's back here. Where the dwarf had his... This is also looks cool, but it's nothing. Where the dwarf had his trick. Because maybe that's the trick they're talking about. Walking around aimlessly. Don't have a seizure, Graham. Please. Alright, so where's... There's one with like... I think it might be this way. Nope. I haven't seen Little Red Riding in, in Hood in a while either. Ugh. Every time. No, no, no. Run! Run! Don't have a seizure. Wow. Whatever he did was so terrifying that the enchanter just walked away. <laughs> He's like, oh, how do I even dump down here? This is probably has a trick to it, too. Everything has a trick to it. Everything has a trick to it. This is how I always get with King's Quest. Because I'm clipping along, and I'm like, wow, I'm 77 out of 185, and I'm just going through it, and it's just like everything's coming together, and I'm figuring out what everything does, and it's super interesting. Look at these. There's like a path here, too. Mm. And then I always hit something and I'm like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do now? Okay, wasn't I just... No, I wasn't just here. Nope. Eh. 
Hmm. All right, here's the... I feel like I've explored this thoroughly, but just in case I haven't, I'm going to save it because I'm going to fall off this stinking bridge 14 billion times. I just know it. Because I... Graham really likes to walk on the edge. Nope, nope, up! Mm. I knew it. What I wanted to do was see if I could walk, but obviously I can't because that's just a... Uh... Alright, let's go up here then. We'll go over here, Graham. Where it's slightly safer. Hmm... He's gonna fall, isn't he? Well, there he is. I see his little nose. His little hat. It's locking up and he's gonna make him fall. Okay, what about this way? Can I go this way? Can I go this way? Is there anything in here that I can open up? Luckily, these rocks don't respond to your touch. Uh, okay, well... The fern feels leafy. Hmm. I kind of want to get... Arg. Alright, so... Uh, the clue didn't help me. No, no, no. Don't go this way. The clue didn't really help me at all. I just have to find that spot where the dumb... Where did the dumb dwarf... I was just here. Well, maybe it's over on the left of here. Where did he put his stupid trap? Because I don't know if that's the trick they're talking about. Okay, that's... Oh, here we are. Yeah, it was right here. But, um... No, there's not any rocks. Gonna look in here again, though. I was just here then. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was so happy. What about I'm trying to find force for his name? Cat! Sorry, my cat has knocked something off the uh, kitchen counter for no reason. I think it's just an empty cap. I don't know if I have better things to do, guys. Not much to do here. So that's not it. Fall for the trick. Oh boy. Here's a ton of rocks, but none of them look helpful. There's just this... What is this thing before? This is a path. You're traveling through Werewood Forest. To the west, you can notice a path running through the trees. A wall of rock prevents further passage south. And the forest surrounds you in all other directions. DS6 says, Cat demands progress. I know. I think he is aggravated. <laughs> Actually, cat usually just demands food. <laughs> he was starting to have a little bit of weight problem, and so I had to put him on a diet, and he's, like, not happy with me. <laughs> because I used to just put his food in one of those cat dishes that just automatically re refills, but now I only feed him... Ah! Get out of there. Now I only feed him in the morning and the evening, and I actually measure out what the bag says for him to eat so he is really unhappy with me <laughs> okay hmm i'm gonna i'm just gonna call i'm just gonna go up here and see if there's anything i missed the first time you know like a something that will solve all of my problems i still think i should get that coiled rope if i want it though I need to read these with my hands. Well, they should interest me. They're sitting here. Well, Graham doesn't have... Alright. The sad thing is there's no one left to talk to, too. That's my other thing I don't like. I like it when I have people to talk to. Well, I mean, outside the game. But in the game, I mean, all the people that would normally talk to me, except for the horse... Which does not talk to me. Which is a very cute horse, though. Hmm. I'm not seeing... Alright, I think we're going to have to go back in the swamp again, guys. I don't know what else to do. I don't have... Graham? 
Are you moving? Where are you? What are you even doing over there, buddy? Um, I'm going to check this one more time because this just looks like something. Rocks are... Okay. You know what, though? Look at this pattern. All right. I'm just going to check around a little bit more on my way to where I'm going. And I think I'm just going to have to go to the swamp. And I think I'm just going to have to... Um figure it out. Like, what is this? There's so many areas where there's not... What is this right here? Many trees shade your way. Yeah, I know, but there's. it looks like a magic knot to press on the tree that would take you someplace cool. Alright, I just want to check one more thing. Real quick, because there's that... You're heading to town. This isn't anything special up here, is it? No, this is the, this is the pumpkin patch I keep going back to. Um... Once you get through the little path in town, then there's like that break. And I found the mallet up in that tree. And I want to see if that mallet, if there's, was that the only thing there? Or is there like six rocks there? Because if there's six, that would be helpful. Bye, Grant. Oh, no. There's just a big clump of them. Did I try? No, no, no. No, no, no. I want to go this way. Can I go this way? Why is it turning me around? No, I want to go up. I want to go up here. Graham, there's nothing. It's a, it's a fern. It's a fern. <sighs> just He just wants to go on the path. Whoa, what's that? Hey, can I go back there? What's in, what's in here? Okay, I'm gonna look around real quick. The plants have long branches, very fine leaves. Why can I go back here, though? Wow, that is very... That is... I already looked in there, though. I'll look in here again. There's nothing else in the hole. No, there's not six rocks. That looks like a face, too. A lot of things in here that look like a face. Is it over here? There's nothing in this knot hole. Well, that was very exciting when the little crown thing went. All right. And up there's just town. Mm. Can I walk this way? Hmm. DS6 says, Graham refuses to walk on ferns, but he loves walking on chasms, rushing rivers, and traps of various makes. Yeah, he's no problem just, like, leaping off a cliff, but, um, he didn't want to disturb that fern. Oh, boy. What? Okay. Is there anything else about this that I haven't explored or done? I don't care if he doesn't want to be disturbed. Okay. Yeah, I know, but I want to... Can I go this way? Can I trample on the ferns this way? Okay. Hmm... Oh, look at this. I feel like asking the locals if they've seen um, but six rocks in a row, but I think that it wouldn't go well. Mm -hmm. I'm, my hands. I'm not disrespecting it, I'm just trying to search it for clues. They have no time for chit chat. Well, they're rude. You think if they knew a king was visiting, they'd be a little more excited? All right, let's go. I think I'm just gonna have to conquer the swamp. I really don't want to because I don't know 
uh, what the puzzle is there other than things change and sometimes they don't. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Every time it's not the same, if I'm supposed to get excited about that or not. I feel like I should be able to walk past this church. Come on. Come on, Graham. I mean, there's, this building exists somewhere. The second half of the building, there has to be space behind here where it exists. No. Hmm. All right, we're going to go. I'm going to go. We're just going to have to go in that in that swamp again because I don't know where else to go everything else none of these people even have any mysteries left they're all like uh, solved there's six rocks here and it's letting me pick them up it makes me mad that they're not you pick oh Man, that enchanter does not like me being near this place or, you know, or he just doesn't like me. All right. And there's a ton. Let's check your hag at this house. So let me pick up any of these rocks. They feel like rocks. Okay. No Batmobile to help me out? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think it's going to let me, but they feel like rocks. No, those aren't the special rocks. All right. Can I go in this way? Let me check this real quick. Because I just realized it looks like a little bit like a path. Is this the same as this? It is the same! Well, isn't that interesting? Okay, well, it's not really, but... And I can't go up here. Because it definitely kills me. Alright, let's go down here. <laughs> DS6 says... I think you have found the Condor equivalent section of King's Quest 2. I believe so as well. So I'm going to just, I don't know. I'm going to go right. And if it's not the same thing as I just got out of, I'm going to keep going. So I went right. Okay, so this is new. So I went right. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Goodness gracious. Graham. I'm going to go... Now I'm gonna go down. Let's see what happens. If I go down. It's the same. So right, that was the same. Was that the same? Oh no. Yeah, it's the same. So I'm not gonna go down this time. I'm gonna go right. Okay, that was different. So I went right. And then Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to try going down. Oh, that was the wrong way. So I'm going to go right again. See if I can do it again. Will it take me back to the same place? Oh, no. Let's try down this time. Uh, let's try left this time. All right, left was new. But I think this is I think this is close to where you get kicked out is the problem. I know if I step up there I'm going to die. And I don't think I've saved it outside there so I think I would be I don't know where I would end up 
All right, so I'm gonna go up. Okay, this is also new, so up was nice, that worked. It's kinda neat, it looks similar, but it's not quite, it's not quite the same. All right, I'm gonna try straight ahead. We'll see what this does. Uh, wait, this is where I came in at. Well, that wasn't helpful. Uh, all right, so let's try this again. I'm gonna go right. I just hope I stumble onto this magical. Well, this is at least something new. I'm gonna go down. I'm hoping they just give it to me because they're like, gosh, she's just wandered around here for so long. So I'm gonna go. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just sit, stop moving. I'm using the arrows. Hang on, Graham. All right, I'm gonna save as 32, because this is kind of a new area, and I'm gonna try it down. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna. If it sends me someplace I've already been, I'm gonna restore it and then try like right. We will do it that way. Okay. I'm gonna save the next one. 33 cuz I have to go left. I don't have any choice. Okay. So I just here. Man, I'm all right, I'm gonna go back to the restore point. I'm gonna go back to here. All right, so I went. I think I went down. I'm gonna go right. It's the same. I'm gonna go left. Uh, the trees are moving. They're moving. Saturates this dismal mire. My goodness. All right, so I am not. Okay, so this is new, kind of. This is like a big. I haven't seen this before, but I don't. Okay, I'm gonna save it here. I'm just gonna save over 33. We'll see what happens. Yeah. shouldn't walk in. Does it look any worse than... Uh, well... You know... Everything in this place is poisoned. So I need to go... Can I go up? No. Of course not. I'll go this way. Graham! This can't be a dead end. I mean, I guess it can, but I can't tell. I can't tell whether this tree is in my way or if I just can't see because the tree is in my way. Oh, come on, Graham. This is a new area. What about this stuff? Anything cool about this stuff? It's a strong magical presence. Oh, boy. All right. Come on. I guess I could go back the way I came, it could still be different. Oh boy. Can I go this way? Seems heavily fogged. Oh, I died. Okay. So I guess I just have to go the way I came. And... I don't know, head this way. Okay, this looks new as well. But I don't know if new is any way better. Okay. Oh. You'd think I'd have something like a pontoon boat in my inventory. I could just get on it and 
go up and down the river. Ah, oh, man. Okay. I'm going back in. I'm going back in and we're gonna see. All right. I can't hop on this. Graham can't hop. Or I'd be like, let's hop in this log, Graham. Okay, so when I first walk in, I'm gonna go left. Let's see what happens if I go left. There's some sort of puzzle or maze or something, and I just need to get to where I keep seeing. It's the same thing. Now this is different. Now this is different. Okay, guys. Alright, I'm gonna try and go down this time. At least with the water area, I could map it out where the sharkies were. This is starting to remind me too much of the game of Mist, which I also got very angry with because, well, more so because there's no one to talk to. So you can't ever figure out if you got the puzzle right or not. Like, there's no exciting little ding or anything. It's just like... Either it is or it isn't. And I would always be like, I don't know. I would get to a certain point in just my frustration level. I mean, you can... They have videos and stuff, but you don't actually get to talk to anybody. Mm. Okay, I'm back here. This is either a dead end or I'm not getting where I'm supposed to go. Or I'm supposed to bring my own boat. Okay, if I get too close to this, it's definitely going to kill me. There's nothing special about anything except to go back down. Oh boy. I can't tell if like the misted areas are areas they want me to stay out of and I should go that way. Or if it just doesn't mean anything at all. What is this stuff over here? more poison water. The natural world. I'm not able... That explains so much about Graham. You're not able to communicate with the natural world. <laughs> yeah, but there's like a swirling thing here. That's cool and swirling, but it's probably nothing. DS6101 says, I love playing all the missed games, but I never beat one without help. Yeah, I know. It's just really... I rage quit that game so many times and I loved like the world and I loved um, just all the cool stuff about it but um, it's just one of those things where I need at least some reinforcement that I'm doing the right thing like I remember the I can't remember what I was doing but similar to this is all this mist and there's all these spigots and all this water and you have to figure out how to turn this thing on and I was just like I don't know if I'm turning these the right way or not and there was no little like, hey, you're doing the right thing. And I was like, oh, come on. Like, how am I supposed to know what I'm doing? But I love the story. I really just wanted to watch a video. I would have liked it if someone had streamed Mist, Mist on Twitch. Because I would have just loved to watch. Um... <sighs> Kicked us out again. I'm going to keep trying. I mean, I don't know what else to do. I still got time. But um, I would have loved to watch someone just solve it. Because I would get so frustrated, I couldn't tell. I'm like, I don't even know. Like, sometimes you would. Like, rooms would open or things would happen. But for the most part, I was like, I can't even tell if we're getting somewhere. Okay, so that wasn't the right move. Okay. It's kind of guided me this way. Yeah. I knew there was like no novelizations made of those games too, but I didn't read them. They probably would have been interesting because I found the world really interesting. I felt, sort of felt like it was a... I don't want to say grown-up because I think grown-ups can play King's Quest and I'm playing it right now, but sort of like a more uh, frustrating version of King's Quest without a lot of the silliness. Although there was some, but I still, like, ah, I would get so frustrated at that game. There's another game I played around the same time, like Train to Siberia, Siberian Train, that had a lot of puzzles that I enjoyed too. I think that one was on, I'm gonna say Xbox, like the first Xbox, I'm not sure. 
but I like that one, like Train to Siberia. That was another really good puzzle game with a mystery. But I never played the second half, like the first half of the game. The first game was literally just half a game. Which is fun. I mean, which I don't mean, I mean that sarcastically. It was not fun because when you got to the end, you solved all these mysteries and you did all this stuff and you solved all these puzzles. And then it's like, okay. What game was that? It was like Train to Siberia. <laughs> DS6 says, I'm embarrassed I typed M-I-S-T instead of M-Y-S-T. You know, don't be embarrassed. Half the time, like, I don't, um, you know. <laughs> I knew exactly what you meant. It was not a problem in communication at all. All right. Oh, okay, this is kind of one of those places where it keeps trying to lead me into the water. Stop. What are those briars? Why won't it walk through? He won't walk through the grass, like the sawgrass or whatever that is. And he should. And here's back where we started. Oh boy. I know they're not passive, but I'd almost rather get killed by a tree than just wander around aimlessly forever. Graham. Ugh. Good gravy. I was looking up online because the first three games of King's Quest are. I'm just going to talk about other stuff while I'm doing that, this, if that's okay with you, Diaz. Um, so I was looking up online because the first. The first three remakes of this game, King's Quest 1, 2, and 3, are free. And then, um, so I was trying to figure out, you know, if they se even sell them. And they do. Let's do, like, Go, I think, or one of those places. But it was interesting. There's a bunch of puzzle games. They kick me out again. Well, I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Um, there's this one that looks really interesting with a lady adventurer who, uh, what was her name? Like, Tessa or Teresa. It's about the same time as King's Quest, a little bit later maybe, and um, she looks like a female Indiana Jones that's puzzle games like this that people were saying, like, if you love King's Quest, you need to play, and I'm excited about that too. I just love these types of games. They don't really make them anymore. I mean, I know they made a new King's Quest, which people are saying good things about, but unfortunately... Uh, okay, we're back down here. It's not helpful. My issue is with streaming is my computer um, is fine for if I'm just viewing information. So if I'm just consuming internet information on the internet, it's fine. But when it has to deal with stuff like streaming, this is one reason why I do the King's Quest games is because um, my CPU can handle it. It can handle recording and streaming and running King's Quest. It can't handle, it couldn't handle any kind of modern game with the, with the amount of processing it would be asked to do, it couldn't handle it. Which is why, I mean, I love playing King's Quest. I immediately thought of that. That's also why I don't have um, a webcam on. I mean, some of it is I think it's distracting when you're trying to look at the screen in a game like King's Quest because stuff's hidden everywhere. But the other reason, too, is my computer can't handle... It can handle recording the audio. It can handle playing the game. It can handle the chat screen. But it can't handle my webcam. <laughs> <laughs> it like freaks out. It like locks up every two seconds, so I do it this way instead. Oh, uh, maybe my brain CPU too low to play this game. Let's keep going. DS, what other games have you played that are similar to this? Like, have you just played King's Quest, or did you play some of the other ones? I am excited with the later King's Quest when you get Rosalina. Rosalina, I'm gonna say it wrong. Is it Rosalinda or Rosalina? I'm excited to play her. I like to play her a lot. Um, but I don't know, you know, if there's other games out there. Like, I vaguely remembered the Space Quest game. Um, and I guess there's also Police Quest, which I have never played. And then, I guess Leisure Suit Larry. But I don't know. I don't... Leisure Suit Larry's a little bit... Oh, boy. I'm going to look back on this t like tomorrow or later this week and look over this and just be super frustrated <laughs> like <laughs> like why that's how I felt about the condor because my screen I'm playing on is pretty small and when I went back and just watched what I did I'm like you're missing oh, this is I feel like this is a new way 
I could see that I was jumping behind the condor and not in front of the condor or right directly in the condor's path. So that's helpful. So maybe if I'm walking through this area, I can be like, hey, there's something there. Maybe not. Yeah, just kind of. All right, here we're back here again, which is literally just a dead end. I want to be able to go this way. I think I should be able to go. Don't have a seizure, Graham. Don't have a seizure. DS6 says, didn't play Space Quest or Quest for Glory or Police Quest or any of those. Yeah, I didn't really... I think my friend Sarah and I... Because um, back then, too, like, when games are so expensive... Um, you know, like, you didn't have... I don't know. My family never had a whole lot of money to buy games anyway. And neither my friend Sarah. So we were kind of stuck with whatever Dad bought. And I think he did have one of the Space Quest games. But we could never get out of, like, the first thing, the first screen. We kept dying 14 billion times. So we gave up on that one. DS6 says, I tried a missed clone called Schism, but bailed on it very quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do like these type of games a lot, but I didn't... I also liked, of course, like SimCity was a big one. But that's not a puzzle game. That's more... Um, that's just a strategy game. And Civilization. Like, I don't... You know, that was the... Those are the kind of games that I didn't enjoy, like, anything... Like, Wolfenstein was, like, one of the first first-person per shooters... And my brother would play that, like, all the time. And I'm like, ah, no. Like, that thing. <laughs> that gives me anxiety. Well, not anxiety, but just, like, the the constant, like, you know, uh, shoot, 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 shoot really, really, really fast. Like, I was like, I don't like this. All right. DS6 says, yeah. Oh, yeah, I did play Legends of Kai... Kyrandia adventure puzzle game, but at puzzle solutions, I didn't like a lot. Yeah, that's the other thing, um, I think, too. Like, what makes a really good puzzle game is if when you solve the puzzle, it makes total sense, but you don't always, like, there's a surprise in there, too. Like, you don't always know why um, it's a surprise. I'm gonna try and... Like, right there's a skull. Like, I feel like there's skull, and I think that's supposed to be the river, but it looks like steps. No, it just kicked me out again. Yeah, if you're playing a puzzle game, and you don't like... You know, some people on... Tw I don't feel bad, because some people on Twitch play the same, you know, 10 seconds of a game over and over again to get perfect timing. So I'm going to go back in there again and just talk about what I want to talk about, and we'll just see if I can figure it out. Um, I think if a puzzle game has solutions that just feel like they're out of left field or aren't satisfying like you don't feel like you really solved anything so too easy there's too easy there's too hard and I think sometimes there's just too it doesn't really make any logical sense like when you get it you feel like I I mean yeah maybe but not really no oh, that's where I'm so up like whenever I see that that seems to be go home I'm going to keep walking away. I'm just going to keep walking down for a little while and see. Oh, no. Let me walk down. It's like you've walked down far enough. It's really not get Like, you can see the sunlight. I like those vines. But I think a puzzle game has to have really satisfying puzzles. But in a way that, like, you can build towards it. Like, I don't mind getting stuck. King's Quest could be sometimes a little bit on the nose. But I enjoy that, the humor in that, too. Like, the fact that you're getting Red Riding Hood her basket. Like, she's, you know what's going to happen. You see it, you know, that kind of stuff. I enjoy, too. It's hard to find. I, again, the mist, I, I like playing it, but it's hard without any feedback from the game. Like, when there's no, you know, there don't, you know, you think you've turned on all the right spigots, but there's no sound. You have to kind of go back and figure it out. Like, did I do it right or which one's wrong? Like, I need to have some kind of feedback that I'm on the right track a little bit. Okay. Just more death stuff, huh? I'm like a monkey with a keyboard trying to pound out Shakespeare's place. We'll see. 
<laughs> we'll see how long it takes me. Um, yeah, like some of these are so, when they move a couple of trees, that really plays with my sense of geography too. So I'm like, well, it kind of looks like the same place I just was. I'm trying to think of any other puzzle games. I don't know. I'm sure there's more modern ones. Kick me out again. I gotta have a clear stone. I don't have anything. I don't think the opal doesn't count, I don't think. Is there anything about this youth serum that I should be? You think? Wait, what does it say? You think that this file contains the potion of youth. Alright. There's no clear stones. Alright, let's try this again. I wonder if it matters which way I go in. DS6 says, one thing I gave up on in the original mist was me ignoring the game feedback. Yeah, there's just not a whole lot, I don't think. Which is, to me, is just frustrating. I like the game to tell me. I know, I think I checked that before. Okay, well, I'm just checking, game. This stump seems interesting, but I guess maybe not. I like a game to at least tell me when I'm on the right track or wrong track. I don't know. Probably because I was trained. King's Quest is one of the first computer games I played. So, I think it kind of trained me that there should be a lot of, like, bells and whistles and things happening when you're on the right track. When you finally solved it. And Mist was kind of like, well, you solved it. Maybe. But here's more difficult puzzles. <laughs> but still, it's a really good game. I don't mean to criticize it. It's more just me uh, needing that feedback than the game having a problem. Man. This is just swamp after swamp. So DS, do you like to play a lot of games now, computer games? Like, what games do you play? Do you only play, like, older games? Do you play a lot of newer games? Do you have, like, a game system? Alright. Where are you going with this? The Lego games can be kind of fun to play, but I feel like... That's a game where there's so many rewards for everything. I was just like, it just feels like you go around and smash up Legos all the time and nothing happens. But maybe that's just me. I also played with my... With some kiddos that were not very patient to figure out. This looks new a little bit. Nope, it's not new. Mm -hmm. I feel like that skull means something. Probably doesn't. It's probably just a skull. Can I go back? I don't, can I go up here? Can I do this game? Can I do this? Okay. No, game. How many rocks are there? Let me count the rocks. Oh, don't walk in the water, please. Ugh. Hmm. Alright. I'm gonna go through a couple more run-throughs and then we'll see. I might just need to come back fresh on Monday and figure out. Alright, that's not a good sign. <laughs> DS611 says, I bought a PS3 a handful of years ago as my first console to own. Cousins had NES, Sega, school friends had it, N64, SNES, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I feel like, it really, like what games you play depends on so much what console you buy or if you play, 
the computer, if you play, you know, like Xbox, PS, PlayStation, um, Wii U, like what you have really influences kind of what you play. Because some of the consoles just seem to be better than others at dealing with certain games. I like I feel like my gaming experience is hugely influenced by Sid Meier, um, just because like his games were so like I love the Pirates game. Um, I love playing like that was one of my favorite games. T6 says I'm currently only playing one game. It's free to play golf game, mostly realistic, but it's got level ups and stats. The progression gets gets a bit superhuman. <laughs> Eventually, it's like no human being could play this game of golf. <laughs> oh, I almost walked in. I'm just gonna start going left and see what it does. How does it deal with that? Am I gonna run up against the thing, or is it just gonna keep flipping me back? So I hit this again. The only way I can go is up, and that's going to kick me out. It's going to send me... I guess it didn't quite send me. Let's go this way. I'm going to go. Can I go left again here? I'm going to keep going left. Mm. Yeah, when you're young, I feel like you have all the time in the world to play games. So it's not left. I'm going to go up. Then you get older, you have less and less time, and less and less of your friends play. And like for me, it was always a social thing. Like I was never the really the person to sit there. I mean, sometimes, like depending on how good the game was, um, sit there and play with myself. But mostly, like we played friends of the group, like trying to beat a game together. And I think that as you become an adult and you have like a normal work schedule and a normal life, um, and you have so much more demands on your time. Then you don't really. Uh, all right, we'll go through here again. We'll see. DS six one one. I got the PS three very much for Final Fantasy, and then got stuff like Demon Souls, Metal Gear Solid, Overlord, Test Drive, and Limited. But I have a bigger history of PC games. Yeah, I always loved the Final Fantasy games. Those were always fun too. I've always loved those. They always do a really good job. I think it's a good combination. I don't know, I haven't played some of the newer ones at all, um, but the old stuff was always a good combination of kind of playing with stats and giving you time to do strategy um, and storyline. DS6 says, I would play new stuff, but no new stuff has really grabbed me this year. Yeah, I don't know, I'm not, I mean, for me it's about like what I can afford to play and how much money I have to sit, sink into games and consoles, but also too, like how much, you know, is it worth it to invest the time? Like, for the, if the storyline doesn't grab you, you know, if it's not something you really get excited to play, here I am, back here again. This seems to be the game's way of saying, I'm going to get rid of you soon. Um, then it's hard to invest the time. I think that's so much... Oh, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. So really, this is just a dead end here. I have to go down. Um, it just kind of depends. I don't know. I like to play a lot of board games because that's social for me. So I love to play like, you know, when I'm playing games, it's much more things like Settlers of Catan and Ticket to Ride and um, Galaxy Trucker and just those kinds of games that kind of involve the same like strategy, but you're competing against other people and it's much more social. Okay. And the frustrating thing with this is I know I'm going to have to solve this this uh, swamp. DS611 says Final Fantasy I'm going to say that's Roman numeral for 10, but I'm tired, so I could be wrong. <laughs> if I am, that's embarrassing. It's strictly turn-based, unlike the common pseudo turn-based of other Final Fantasy titles, and I love it for that. Yeah, I like the turn-based. I like when it gives you time to... Just MMO-ish. DS6 says, um, 
12 is MMO-ish with all real time with a pause and you set, set up each character action priorities which is very well done yeah, I don't like to be in a situation where um, combat is purely based on my reflexes like how fast I can aim and shoot uh, what was oh, I'm trying to think of the game it's the World War 2 my brother tried to get me to play um Oh, I'm dumb that I can't remember it. Basically, it's the... Oh, oh, gosh. Why can't I remember? It's just like a World War II game. Where it's sort of like you can play as teams, but it's like a first-person shooter, essentially. I mean, you're you're just shooting other players, and you have missions and all that stuff. Oh, what is it? This is like this is me being brain-dead because it's 1052. And um, he wanted me to play with him, and he just kept laughing at me because I kept making my guy like run away. He's like... He's like, Jen, point and shoot, point and shoot. You don't run away. I kept getting shot. Like, my character kept getting shot in the rear end. And he's like, you don't, you need to, like, just aim and shoot. And I'm like, I don't like this. I'm just getting shot all over the place. Like, this does not feel strategic to me. Or I'd try and, like, sneak by everyone and I couldn't. I know, World War II isn't very specific. It's an old, uh, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time I'll remember the game and I'll mention it, what it was. But any kind of game where I have to uh, manage complicated dials and buttons at the same time, point, shoot, aim, and there's like a stress value of where I'm getting murdered and I have to murder other people. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but there's something about it. I'm like, this has got to be a better way. Like, go and hide. I don't know. Like, I'm terrible at it. And he's <laughs> he just like laughs. Basically, like, after the first, probably, you know, you have to go through the tutorial and whatever, all this other stuff. He basically, I just said, I said, I'll watch you play. And I just watched him play and cheered him on. Because I couldn't, like, he just laughed at me. He's like, I don't understand. I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, I just, uh I'm like, there's too much. It's too, st that's, like, too stressful for me to enjoy. Ugh. Stupid skull guy. I know, I think World War II... I said World War II game, but World War II is one of the most common gaming things. Okay, this is kind of new. Ah. You know, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go this way, trees. Looks like the trees are pointing me that way. Maybe it was lying, maybe it wasn't. Yeah, I, I think the other, probably the only other most common combat game, like the space one, was there, was, was, takes place in space. Oh, man. DS6 is very few FPS games I will play, similar frustrations. Yeah, yeah, I just feel like too many things in real life require me to have quick reflexes. I'm going to relax. I want time to, like, think about it. <laughs> uh, I know. It's, you, uh, they're not steps, but they look like steps. This isn't going to... Uh, come on. I should just be able to walk up here and check it out. That's the thing. This is part of the game's limitation, and I realize that. It's just, they can't, you know, they're trying to guide you a specific way. How can you kick me out from there? That's not even a thing. All right, let me look over. I'm just going to look over my inventory quick and see if I can jog my memory. There's nowhere else I need to go either, is there? Like there's no other panel or screen I haven't seen. Oh, don't have a seizure, Graham. You take your medication. No seizures. Oh, no. Well, hang on. One, two, three. Well, if I count all of them. One, two, three. This separate rock. Four, five. I don't know. If I was going to... I would go for here and try and you can't reach them from here. Oh, do I actually? Oh, that's interesting. Let's walk in. 
Um, yes, I can reach them from here. I'm right there. It's another one of these step a little closer things, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Graham's. It looks like Graham's giving me a look like, seriously? Yes, I can reach them. I'm right in front of it. What was that? You let the refreshingly clean water wash over your hands and splash some on your face for good measure. That woke you up. Okay, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> you can't go over them. You can't go under them. They're impassable. What about here? They are happy. Leave them be. Look, I don't care. You're not over the hill yet. Oh, what does that mean? You're not over the hill yet. What do you mean about that, game? Huh? The rock pile blocks your passage north along the shoreline. But what was that there? Small, okay. Can't I go up here? I'd much rather go up here than in the swamp again game. Mm. There's nothing sparkling like a, like, I guess, yeah, I still, I guess I could use the diamonds and the one earring as a clear crystal. What is it? One, two, three, four, four. Leave it anything. The rocks are too dangerous to climb. Is there anything interesting? DS6, over the hills, reference to age. I figured that, but I just, ugh, I was hoping it was trying to tell me something. Um, about those are kind of cool in the background about something I wasn't quite doing correctly but that's not right alright I'm going to look over my inventory and we might be and this is my I mean this is my definitely my waterloo with this situation because I need to figure out like what I'm doing in that swamp or where the fire is a <laughs> DS6 is a hoops no trust me I could have missed that joke um you know I'm not <laughs> unnecessarily dirty. Graham has already been off so many cliffs. He rolled around on that dirty rug. All right. I'm still super suspicious of these stones. I feel like there's something here that I'm not quite getting. Because it lets me pick them up. That's the crazy thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I feel like I should be able to pick up the fifth stone and do something with it. Can I do some? Okay, let's do this with this. What can I do? There's no need to use that here. Doesn't want to move. Doesn't want to move. I'm going to hit it with a mallet! Oh no. Alright, so here's where we're at. It's, I'm not I'm not as aggravated as I was with the condor because I feel like this is just like the condor situation. I feel like maybe if I wander around some more next time, I'll either I'll either figure it out or I will find something that I missed under some rock or in some tree or some magical person I have yet to talk to and I will figure out a way to either A, get some fire so I can throw this stuff in a beaker and cook it and deal with the enchanter, or um, <laughs> or find a way to go through that swamp. Um, I'll, maybe when I watch this later when I'm editing it for a highlight, I can look at the swamp again and because I'm not directing him, maybe figure it out. So we'll, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I have plenty of time to sleep on it till Monday. So thank you so much, DS, for coming and watching this because I didn't really, <laughs> I didn't really do much, though I enjoyed your discussion about gaming. So, um, <laughs> DS6 says your patience is inspiring. No, I think, <laughs> I think the opposite of true. I think anyone who watches this, their patience is inspiring <laughs> because I'm sure there's people who's play, who've played this game if they watch this, um, they're going to be yelling at the screen 
because I'm sure there's something that uh that I am missing that maybe I'm even walking over and they're just like wah um so we'll see <laughs> but um I will be I will be back on Monday and I hope you'll be too DS and I hope um anyone else who wants to come please be there uh if you're watching this and you've not followed me please follow me and I'll give you um It'll, it'll ping you when I'm online, but I almost I exclusively so far have uh, streamed on Mondays and Thursday nights. So hopefully next time we'll figure out this swamp. We'll figure either figure it out and get, I'm 90% sure the second gem's in there, or we'll figure out what's up with the enchanter and maybe the other gem's there. I don't know. Um, and we'll get some more progress. It seems like this way, like you get stuck and then all of a sudden those last points... It's just like boom, 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 boom. Um, if you want, would like to watch some of my my older streams, I stream through King's Quest One. That's on my highlights of my Twitch channel. It's also on my YouTube channel, uh, Jen with Glasses at YouTube. So I will see you guys on Monday. Yes, because today's Thursday. <laughs> and hopefully we'll, we'll get a little farther. I'm going to save the game here. Um, I don't want to wake up in the swamp. I just, I just, I can't bear it. <laughs> and I will, I will see you guys next. Oh, crud. You know what? We're just going to end it this way. Just let them enchant us. <laughs> there we go. What are we turning into? It's a frog. <laughs> All right. I will, I will see, I will see you guys next week. And hopefully we will, we will defeat this this everything <laughs> all 